Hello, my name is Janet, and today is December 30th, 2015. I wanted to come and give an update on my multiple sclerosis and my follow-up appointments that I had on December 10th. I had three follow-up appointments. I had a pulmonary, a pulmonary function lab test to be done, and that was to measure my breathing, um, my lung strength, and I had to breathe through a device, a tube-like device. I had to breathe against it. I had to pull again, uh, pull in with my breathing, hold my breath, and then blow as long as I can. And I mean, just a series of exercises. And the baseline that was set for me back when I first was diagnosed with MS um, and had that pulmonary function lab test done the very first time, I still, I'm still i still at that baseline. I have not declined. So my lung strength and breathing is um, still good. I had, a, I had an appointment with my neuro-ophthalmologist and I had my eyes dilated. He looked for any lesions or problems with my optic nerves and my eyes are good. I still have 20-20 vision. The baseline that was set from my first appointment when I met with the neuro-ophthalmologist, um, my eyes have not changed. They're still at that baseline, 20-20 vision. So I'm good there. And I then followed up with my neurologist and um, we discussed my labs, which are um, everything that they did when they took blood work three months ago. Um, when it came back, it shows that um, um, my cholesterol, my um, lymphocytes, everything is um, that I, they took blood for is where is measuring up to where it needs to be. Uh, most importantly, my lymphocytes um, are being suppressed within my lymph nodes as the medication that I'm prescribed, Jelenia, is supposed to do. It's supposed to suppress my lymphocytes within my lymph nodes. And um, so my lymphocyte numbers are very low, which indicates that the medication is working. Um, the only thing with that is that I have to be careful being around people that may be sick um, with germs, you know, colds, flus, um, because those type of um, illnesses will make an MS patient um, worse than um, basically if I get sick with a cold, a cold for me is worse than a cold for a person without MS. So. I have to take um, measures to be extra careful and to not get sick. Um, but my labs, they were all good. And we discussed some issues that I had been having. Um, and I was concerned if they were MS symptoms. And the symptoms that I was having um, were sharp pains in my thigh my right thigh, um, sharp pain in my right arm, stabbing pain in my head. Um, I still have bouts of dizziness, which um, I haven't quite gotten used to, but I'm more used to that than I am when I feel those sharp stabbing pains. And my um, neurologist and the nurse said that those um, those were signs of me aggravating um, my MS. And basically, if I don't slow down, rest more, um, I could have a relapse because those are signs of a relapse trying to occur or flare-ups. And so I'm having to slow down because um, I don't feel sick. I still go about my day as normal, which I mean, is a good thing, but I have to find a new normal and realize when I need to rest. Even if I don't feel like I need to rest, I need to um, kind of sit back sometime and just chill. And um, 
I also discussed my concerns with smoking or secondhand smoke because I don't smoke, but um, around my mother who smokes sometime, well, she smokes all the time, but I'm around her sometime. And, um, excuse me, um, and I was just concerned with what could happen with me being around someone who smokes. Um, does that put me at risk? And of course it does put me at risk. So I have to be mindful of that. It could uh, cause me to have, um, it could cause me to progress to secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, which is more debilitating. And um, because I don't have any debilitating issues now, I do not want to progress to that stage of, it, of MS. So I purchased some face mask to use, um, not only for cigarette smoke, but for anyone that I may be around who is ill. Um, you know, I want to be able to protect myself against those germs, but also I want to be able to protect myself against smoke from for whenever I visit with my mom. Um, I just recently told my family members that I am dealing with, that I have multiple sclerosis. And so because I have unveiled that information to them and especially to my mom, I'm hoping that um, whenever we visit together that she doesn't smoke. Um, but I will have a face mask in case, and then my visit just won't be able to be as long as I would like for it to be. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give that update on my multiple sclerosis appointments that I had, and I don't have to go back to the neurologist until March, and I am nearing the end of the case study that I signed up for in um, May of this year. And so the nurse is getting ready to transition me off of the case study. Um, she's gonna start my paperwork to start transitioning me off of um, the case study onto my regular health insurance. So I have um, an appointment with my neurologist in March and then I have to do another MRI to see if I have any additional lesions, if um, the MS has progressed um, as far as additional lesions on my brain. Um, I will have to do another pulmonary function lab test as well as meet with my neuro ophthalmologist again. And uh, after those particular appointments, I will transition on off of the case study. And um, then I will start seeing my neurologist, I think every six months, and then I transition to once a year, unless I develop some issues where I have to see him sooner. So um, all is well, and I am blessed. I will come back with an update on me discussing or uh, in unveiling the fact that I have multiple sclerosis to my family. I didn't tell them until I... Um, was seven months in with being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So I'll come back and give an update as far as why I held on to that information for seven months before discussing it with my family members. So take care and be blessed. Bye.